China's space station is almost complete. How will scientists use it? Tiangong China's space station is almost finished, and Monday the third and last module is slated to fly into low Earth orbit. Over the course of its minimum 10-year lifespan, the station, the only other laboratory in orbit, is anticipated to hold more than 1,000 scientific experiments. These include researching the behavior of fires and the impact of microgravity on living tissues. According to Paulo de Souza, an Australian researcher who developed space technology at Griffith University on the Gold Coast, constructing a space station is a significant accomplishment. It is excellent. For Chinese researchers, the space station has created a brand new scientific playground, he continues. Veggie Sprouts The second experiment hosting module Wentian was launched in July. The final module Mengtian is one of those two. By docking with the Tianhe core module, which has been circling the Earth since April 2021, Mengtian and Wentian will form the arms of the space station together. According to Jonathan McDowell, an astronomer at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics in Cambridge, Massachusetts, the Mengtian module is essential to bringing the station's symmetry back because it is currently flying along lopsided, which demands a lot of energy to maintain oriented. The outpost has previously welcomed a number of cargo missions and astronauts, and a three person crew presently resides there. More than 20 miniature laboratories with centrifuges, cold chambers that can reach negative 80 degrees Celsius, a high temperature furnace, Several lasers and an optical atomic clock are on board. These will be employed to carry out experiments like those performed on the International Space Station ISS, such as studies into the health effects of prolonged confinement in low Earth orbit, strategies for preventing fires of diverse materials and the quantum aspects of gases. The station's three exterior facilities will be used to examine how cosmic radiation affects microorganisms and plants. Since China is not a member of the ISS, its astronauts have not been permitted access. NASA, a participant in the ISS, is not allowed to collaborate bilaterally with China under U.S. regulations. According to De Souza, who hopes the results will be made public, a new space laboratory will allow researchers to repeat tests done on the ISS to see if the outcomes can be replicated. He says, I'm sitting here on the edge of my seat just waiting for the results. Numerous Experiments According to Zhang Wei, director of the Technology and Engineering Center for Space Utilization, Chinese Academy of Sciences in Beijing, more than 25 research projects are already underway, including ones to investigate the effects of microgravity in plant cells, bone, muscle, and molten materials, as well as experiments to crystallize proteins. The crew brought 12,000 seeds, including alfalfa, oats, and fungal seeds to the space station where they were exposed to cosmic radiation and microgravity for six months before returning them in April to be planted on Earth. This information was also provided by Chinese state news media. The Chinese Academy of Sciences researchers have also noted that rice and thale cress seedlings planted in Wenthian in late July had begun to sprout. From the Wenchang launch facility in southern China, Mengtian will launch on a long March 5B rocket. Similar to missions that have used this kind of rocket in the past, the rocket will likely make an uncontrolled re-entry into the atmosphere, and several tons of debris may crash anywhere on Earth's surface. The possibility that the debris will land among people worries some experts. The risk is actual, according to McDowell. The likelihood of hitting a densely populated location is low because majority of the Earth's surface is water or uninhabited land. The final module. As its rivalry with the United States becomes more intense, China has been working for more than 10 years to establish a continuous crude presence in orbit. On Tuesday, the third and final module for China's permanent space station docked with it. According to CCTV, a state broadcaster, the Mengtian module arrived at the Tiangong station early on Tuesday morning. On Monday afternoon, the southern island province of Hainan's Wenchan Satellite Launch Center sent Mengtian into orbit. The flight and docking mission was planned to take around 13 hours to accomplish. A big group of onlookers, including space enthusiasts and amateur photographers, witnessed the launch from a nearby beach. Ni Lexiong, a professor at Shanghai University of Political Science and Law, emphasized the program's tight military ties by saying, The space program is a symbol of a major country and a boost to the modernization of China's national defense. Ni added that it inspires patriotism and positive spirit and gives the Chinese people more confidence. The station's second laboratory module, Mengtian or Celestial Dream, joins Wentian as part of Tiangong or Celestial Palace, the station's overall name. The Tianhe core module, where the crew resides and works, is connected to both. 
Meng Tian, like its predecessors, was launched atop a long March 5B carrier rocket, one of China's most potent families of launchers. The China Manned Space Agency reports that the crew of Tiangong currently consists of two men and one woman. During their six-month stay on board, which began in early June, Cheng Dong, Kai Shoujie, and Li Yong will finish assembling the space station, go on spacewalks, and conduct additional experiments. An additional unmanned Tianzhou supply ship is expected to dock with its station after Meng Tian, and another crewed mission is planned for December. At these times, personnel may overlap because Tiangong has enough space to hold six astronauts.